everybody, Sully Man here. Uh, so we're going to start today with uh, working with the Align panel over here. This one's pretty simple, should be a short video today. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and throw some shapes down. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them. And over here in my align panel, you're going to notice they're pretty self explanatory. If you hover over them, they'll let you know like horizontal, align left, you know, align center, align right, align top, align middle, align bottom. And then you can distribute objects. Um, so let's go through that real fast. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, left align. It's going to align all these objects to the uh, left side. We can then, uh, I'm going to go ahead and undo that, click the right, you'll see that it'll align left, or you can hit center, and it'll align in the center. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and hit the uh, top align. I'm going to go ahead and undo again, hit top align, you'll see exactly what it does exactly what you think it will. This is the center line uh, vertically. Hit undo, hit the uh, bottom align. Um, okay, so now distributing objects. I'm going to go ahead and hit distribute from the top. And you'll see what it's doing. The topmost object and bottommost, it's going to just distribute within, depending on the size. Um, so this one can be a little tricky, uh, depending on how you've set up your objects. There's the center. Click back to the top, hit the bottom. You'll see it just kind of looks like it's going random. We'll distribute uh, from the left distribute from the center and distribute from the right. You'll notice that this red and this uh, sky blue aren't really moving uh, because the way that works, and I'll show you right here, go ahead whoops, and grab my ellipse tool. I'm going to do some perfect circles. I'm going to go ahead and hold alt, click, and drag to create a duplicate object. I'll go ahead and do colors here, and then I'm going to go ahead and Create a few in the center here. Let's go ahead and make these green. So you'll know those are the center objects. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and distribute these uh, with the horizontal distribute center. Um, you can see from top to bottom, it's going to worry about the left to right because this isn't. If you see, they're kind of sectioned off. There's a pretty big space between these that they're sectioned off. Um, these are more. Um, working with the verticals, the up and down, whereas this is the left and right. You can see the left and the right here, and the up and down, or top to bottom. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this horizontal distribute center. And you'll see that it moves these greens and spaces them perfect between the red and the sky blue. That's how it works. So when you're looking to distribute things um, that are the same size and get that nice perfect spacing, uh, it really depends on the two outside objects that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and select them again and hit distribute. And you'll see it spaces them perfectly. So whenever you want to space them and distribute them nicely and evenly, uh, I'll just go ahead and move these here. Go ahead and select. And it'll bring them in to match the spacing between uh, the two far left and far right objects. Uh, it kind of works the same for the up and down. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Here and you'll notice I'm going to bring this out of line. It'll still distribute. Spacing's perfect. Then you can go ahead and hit a line. Um, um, the uh, vertical center, and you'll get that nice perfect. So that's uh, pretty much the align palette. So just keep in mind when you're going ahead and doing the distributing and want to get a nice even distribution of your objects. Um, the leftmost, the outermost objects, essentially left and right or up and down, are going to be your guides. Uh, to the amount of space needed. Uh, so I'll go ahead and select again and show you one more time. So you can see it's these two outer objects that are going to uh, help uh, create the distance for your distribution. Uh, and that's pretty much the Align Palette. So uh, go ahead and play around with it. And, uh, you know, I hope you got something from watching today. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember to like, share, comment, and or subscribe. It always helps out. Thanks for watching.